So I just did something incredibly stupid and I did not record video. But I have come back and I also missed like half the conversation with Neuralim because I was so pissed at myself that I hit goodbye instead of continuing to speak to him. So this version of Duke Felipe has not exhausted all the dialogue options, so when I come back they'll probably still be there. Anyway, that was my first giant gaffe. I've made a couple where I've forgotten to record, but they have had save files associated with them where this one did not. And I'm like super pissed at myself right now, <laughs> but that's okay. So what I did when I left here last time was I went and did the Split Rock Cavern quest. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let me set them up. I put on this one. Stellan Wrighton has asked that I recover his journal from Split Rock Depths. He says he is a surveyor from a mining company and that his journal contains data he recorded from his exploration of the area. And it turns out I forgot that this quest is, also takes place in Split Rock Depths, so I was able to do it as well. But you will see that now, because I'm going to do it again. I recorded my audio, but not my video. So... It would have been, like, impossible to try to match those. I mean, that would have been really stupid. So, I am doing it again. I really do like this game a lot. I just didn't want to have to backtrack, especially for side quests. Yeah, as much as I... D I feel like I should say that, probably, because as much as I diss this game, I'm really, really enjoying it. And the fact that I can't record it whenever I want pisses me off. I want to record it. It's got a lovely feel to it, and I want to see what happens. Especially now that Aelin is a, um, bad person. I'm sure she's not bad. I'm sure Neerolim's the bad one. But whatever. Um, should I do that first? I think I'll go do it first. It's just a matter of going to, uh, see his sad little corpse. <laughs> Because he's not alive anymore. Hey, guy! Deja vu! Give me your shit. I need to clean out some stuff. Yeah, there was nothing in there I wanted, but let's open it anyway here. Ooh, yeah! Like, what is this? I don't even know. I feel like I should do more alchemy, but much like- and I'm sorry I keep mentioning this as well, but much like Dragon Age... <laughs> I, um, I'll be playing Dragon Age eventually as well, so... Much like Dragon Age, I don't ever, um... Do any s combining of equipment or anything. It must be very... Irritating. Sorry, something happened on my other screen just then. And I was not watching these dudes. Fair Gorta! I actually really like these guys. They're an interesting design. I also really enjoy that he just parried that other dude who was trying to hit him while I was fighting the sentinel. That was pretty neat of him. Alright. I discovered a hidden object somehow. I don't have any, um, inventory space, but there are two things over here that I need to pick up, so I have to drop some stuff. Yeah, I guess they're around, just around the river bend. Let's go. Give me my bushes that react to my feet. They're so neat. I love trees and shit. Hey, Bargus. Why does it always look like Bargus are dying when I approach them? They always flop to the ground. Hey, guys. Now you're dead. I like how you're backing up. That was a nice little move. Come here. What's this? I didn't find this guy last time. He's just sitting up all like, hey guys. Got any money for me? No. Sorry, not interested, skeleton. I'm glad I found you, though. You're very cute. Alright. Into the depths. Gotta find Stellan's bud. Mr. Skarsgård. Come on, I'm here. Slurp, slurp. Come on, guys. I killed your master guy. Where's your friends? I know they're down here. Here comes one. I hear him. Oh, God. There they are. Bye-bye, Sentinel. He keeps telling me about all the, the 
purple stuff I'm gaining when my bar is full. Delicious. Die. Okay. You dead? Did I just kill you? Okay, cool. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So this is Despero. He's dead. I'm sorry, Stellan. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to clean out my inventory first. Okay, 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 get up. Okay. Inventoire. Armor. Get rid of this. I'll get rid of this. And go into junk and destroy them. Yes. 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 Cool. Now pick up this stuff. Um, that and that. I know, I don't want that last thing. Sorry, sir. And there's something... Where was it? I guess it's in this little area? Yeah, here we are. So this guy... Not looking too good. Let's find out why. <laughs> A tattered journal. Day 7. Keska betrayed me. Thought the girl wanted that foolish cult destroyed, but it turns out she was just bait. Why can't I ever resist a pretty pair of legs when they're kicking around on her legs, being all cute? Damn fools keep chanting and smearing that foul-smelling sap all over their faces. Canarok hired me to kill this cult, but I've only become another tender morsel for its dark tree god. Near a limb? Some bounty hunter I've turned out to be. They have others, people and creatures, pen like cattle in cages. Think we're food, but for what? I need to get out of here. Day 11. Ceremony last night. Or day? I can't tell. Everyone chanting, holding hands. Something was killed. Couldn't make out what for my cage. Scream sounded human, mostly. Mostly. There was a thunderclap, I think. Then every torch in the place went dark. Lots of screams, wet sounds, smacks and swallows, smell of blood. <laughs> Been quiet for a while. Not sure what's happening. They forgot about me, I bet. Day 13, she came near. I think it was her. Keska. Hair was white, though. Legs. Too long. No longer sexy. Her voice like teeth scraping on bone. Her eyes are so bright. I think she's becoming something else. Something different. And I think she ate the others. Am I next? Day 21. No sign. No food. Drinking sap that drips from the dark above. Her voice is everywhere. She hunts in the cave, eating with thick, wet gulps. Thinks she forgot me and my cage. I'm glad it's dark. Can't see. Don't want to see. Soon I'll be thin enough to fit between the bars and then I'll escape. <laughs> that didn't work out too well for you, dude. All right. Time to get out. Is that her? I'm like insanely curious. It, I don't think it is, but I'm just saying. We just read that journal and then she shows up and Xena's me into the sun. With her long, creepy... Uh, who, what movie is that? The Ring? Yeah, The Ring. Her long, creepy ring hair. Murder, murder! Alright, we're running back. I'm gonna go hand some stuff over to some guys. Tell them their peeps are dead because they really shouldn't have been in here. And then I'll be back where I was. Yay! Which will be very nice because I was sad that I did that to my poor recording. I apologize, recording. You did not deserve your fate of my carelessness. Where am I going? Hey, guys! Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. 
and I get to run through this place, making things grow with my feet. Yeah, I didn't come this way before, but it all leads to the same place. Hey everybody, I'm coming! Are you ready, Brother Holt? Are you ready to sell in Scar's Guard? I got bad news! So purdy. Alright. Stellan Skarsgård is right over here. Greetings. Sorry about your penis. I trust this wasn't too difficult to obtain. What's of Horus? I'm sorry, he didn't make it. A shame that. But thank you for being brave enough to retrieve this, in spite of what happened to Horus. As we agreed, here is some gold for your trouble. I appreciate your help. No worries, you look like you're floating off the ground. So do I, actually. This is not... Okay, tell me about Horus. Terrible. Terrible what happened to him. I will remember Horus Despero as the bravest gnome I ever had the pleasure to meet. He was one fine, dedicated worker. You don't find that sort of ethic much anymore. Yeah, man, he was like a gnome who went into a cave and fought a bunch of dudes, too. He's pretty brave. Peace out, Stellan. Thanks for saying nothing to me for that. Alright. Let us go put on the Brother Holt quest. And then map it. Go into St. Edric's mission. Yes. I would like that very much. Pray my ears deceive me then. <sighs> so it is true. The doubt in the back of my mind that was clawing its way forward is now here upon me. Thank you. Now, now I won't have to wonder any longer. Go in peace, child, and leave me to my prayers. Am I your child? But thanks for the thousand gold. Like, what the? Where'd you get so much money? Another day, another blessing. Sure. Okay. Now. I picked this quest to go try next because I figured that no one was going to make me go to Castle Yolvin in the main quest line. I think... No, this is House of Ballads. So. And then, since it was taking me to Canarok close to it anyway, I went to sell some shit. And that's when I looked up and realized that I did not, in fact, have my recording on. What I'd... are you bothering me for? I'm not! Eat a dick. So this time, we'll go talk to this paranoid lady, because this is where I was when I realized. Talking to Beckery and her giant tankard. Does no one else see the widow? The widow is coming for us, and her brood comes with her. We'll be food before nightfall. We can't hold this island and these few buildings against them. The widow? She's as old as Webwood, and twice as menacing. She's the devils of this forest incarnate. That's what she is. I heard tales of war and demons, stranger, but none as chilling as the widow's. And now she's coming for us. You're a paranoid drunk. Tell me about Webwood. What are you thinking? That we asked for this trouble by living here? That we're somehow to blame for this? What did any of us do to deserve this? What could anyone do to deserve this fate? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's all your fault. Silk farmers! How most in town made their living before the attacks? Collecting the webs from the wood and weaving it into cloth and such. Damn scavengers. You're a skank! Uh, you got a room for me? Why would I be asking this? <laughs> I have, like, a house in this town. Whatever. Maybe if the inn was in a fit state, but there aren't any rooms for rent right now. You're welcome to sleep if you can find a spare bit of floor. How are you ma Well, I guess she's selling beer. Whatever. Um, tell me about yourself? I run the inn here in Canarock. 
nice, respectable way to make coin, unlike those foolish silk farmers. You're supposed to say them's foolish silk farmers. Them's foolish silk farmers. Tell me about Barton. I like him, but you probably don't. Maybe? I don't know. He'll have us carrying wooden swords and marching to our deaths. He doesn't care about this town. You can see it in his face. I knew you wouldn't like him. Alright, I want to sell you some stuff, so just don't talk to me. Sell. I'm just selling, like, everything. I didn't even check. I'll keep the forge and the hammer. Um... Hmm. I suppose I want to keep one of those venomous great swords because I wanted to see what it could do. Uh, da -da 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 Let's keep that for a while as well. Oh my god. Silk farmer gloves are like a kabillion million dollars. Sell them anyway. Keep that stuff. I want to fix it someday. I should put that ring on. Sell them all. Sell my dandruff. Alright. Hmm. I'll keep that stuff. Can I sell these red legion daggers? Do I need them for anything? I'll keep them for now. I feel like I can sell... Oh shit. I don't want to sell those yet, in case they're, um, Silk Farmer remains. Bye! Widow spare you.